Repetition is key to spoken mastery. I know that you want to learn English and you want to speak it well right now. But the problem is most language classes move too quickly for students to master the material before moving on to something new. In this video, I will focus on the very important rule of the listening first approach and I will advise you to take your time and learn English deeply. What does it mean to learn deeply? To learn deeply means to learn English to the point where speaking and understanding are automatic. Often people know a lot of about the English grammar and vocabulary, but they don't know it deeply. When it comes time to speak, they are translating vocabulary and they're analyzing tenses in their heads or struggling to understand the meaning of, of what someone is saying to them. So deep learning means repeating what you have learned again and again and again. Yeah, this might feel very different from the way that you learn in school, because most schools have a lot of pressure to move fast. They are always pushing the students to learn more grammar or a certain number of new words every single week. The teachers are primarily, you know, you know, t they focus on textbooks and they try to finish them on schedule. The problem for the students is they learn a lot of stuff, but then they forgot it. You remember the basic idea, but you cannot use it. Take the past tense, for example. If you studied English before, chances are that you learned the past tense. And chances are also good that you studied in a textbook and then boom, very fast, you moved on. You went on to learn more grammar, you know, possessive, the future tense, the present, perfect tense, and etc. Now, if someone asks you that, if you know the past tense, you would say, of course. But the truth is, you haven't mastered the past tense. You move through the material so quickly that you never learn it deeply, like a native speaker. And that's why you still make mistakes with the past tense. Even though you may have studied English for many years, you still make mistakes because it's all automatic, because you haven't learned it deeply. So to better understand deep learning, once again, let's look at the world of sports. Imagine, for example, a professional golfer, right? How does a professional golfer master the game and continue to improve? The most important skill for a golfer to master is their swing. A professional will practice their swing 500 times a day or maybe more, every single day. And a good golfer never say, okay, I already, know, I already know how to swing, so now I need to do something else. The golfers understand that the best way to master the game is to master a few fundamental skills. They practice the same, the same few skills hundreds of times a day, for years and years, possibly for their entire lives. Unfortunately, many English learners fail to understand the importance of deep learning. In my English classes, you know, I frequently spend you know, a lot of time repeating and reviewing the most common and most useful language. And sometimes the students will complain, you know, they will say that, for example, I, I want to learn advanced grammar. I, I already know the past tense. Yet in casual conversation, the same students, you know, frequently make mistakes, you know, with past tense because he didn't understand the difference between knowledge and the skill. Remember, the knowledge is something that you analyze and you think, but skill is something you do. And knowing the past tense is useless. So you must be able to use the past tense instantly and automatically in the real conversation. So basically you need English skills, here. you don't need English knowledge. You just need to, to slow down, my friends, you know, repeat everything that you learn again and again. For example, I tell my members of my course to repeat each lesson daily for at least 14 days. So this is the case, even if they, they think that they know it well after listening it twice. If it's difficult, you know, I advise them to listen, you know, like three or four weeks. Remember, it's not a race, you know, the point is that it's not to memorize or recite the phrase back like a bird but to truly deeply understand the phrases that you are learning. Often I get the question like this from the students, you know, you know, and why we should learn deep learning. Because deep learning is important, you know, you need to repeat each audio every single day for 14 days. More is fine, you know, 30 days is better than that. Less than seven, you know, won't get the job. You won't be doing enough repetitions to have the material sink in deeply. It's a challenging to pace yourself because I know that many people think that faster is better, but it doesn't work that way. You need to repeat each audio at least once a day for seven or 10 days. You are doing this because you want your knowledge go, to go deeper and deeper. You are learning for mastery.
Self-study paketi barədə ətraflı məlumat əldə etmək üçün bizə müraciət edin.